Let's take a look at how to complete this simple form. If you have any questions while filling out the form, please don't hesitate to contact our Member Services team. For ease of use, let's start by creating an account to save our progress and return later, should you need to gather documents or you just don't have time to finish in one sitting. Next, find your service unit name and number from the drop-down menu. Enter the name of your service unit treasurer, which is probably your name, and the name of your leader support manager along with their phone number and email addresses. You can then save your progress or click Next to continue. Next, we will enter the total income your service unit received. If there is no value for an item, make sure to enter zero. If you have any cash donations or community contributions, like any monetary or in-kind donations, received by the service unit from businesses or community sponsors, enter them here. Make sure you have completed the GS NorCal donation form. It's available as an online form or an offline downloadable version. List each donation separately, including the type of donation, business or individual name, and amount. Make sure to use the plus sign icon to add each donation separately. Continue to add the income amounts for each category. Remember to enter zero if there is no value for the item. After you enter all the income within each category listed, determine the income total by clicking on the Calculate button. Verify this is correct and then you can save your progress or click Next to continue. Now enter the expense amounts for each expense category listed under Service Unit Expenses. Remember to enter zero if there is no value for the item. After you enter all the expense amounts within each category listed, determine the expense total by clicking on the Calculate button. Verify the amount is correct and then you can save your progress or click Next to continue. Under Financial Summary, enter your starting balance using last year's ending balance from your Service Unit Finance Report. Click Calculate next to the income and expense totals to repopulate the service unit's total income and expenses. Then click Calculate to see your ending balance. Under Reconciliation of Funds and Accounts, verify your ending balance with the statement from the bank. Fill in the total ending balance from your August bank statement, total outstanding deposits, total outstanding checks, and total petty cash on hand. Then calculate the grand total. Ensure that the grand total matches your ending balance in the financial summary from above. If they do not balance, you can provide an explanation here. If they balance and are the same, enter Balanced or NA. If your service unit's ending balance is more than $1,000, make sure to include an explanation for how your service unit plans to spend the money here. Don't forget to upload a copy of your service unit's August bank statement. Then you can save your progress or click Next to continue. Under Bank Information, enter the requested banking information and enter the names of all the signers. If you manage additional service unit accounts, under the question Have Another Bank Account, click Yes and additional fields will open up. You can then save your progress or click Next to continue. Almost done! Make sure to electronically sign the documents by typing in your full name and enter the security CAPTCHA. Then you can save your progress or click to continue. And that's it! You're all set! Your information has been sent off and will be reviewed by our staff shortly. Make sure to print a copy of the receipt for your records and to share with your service unit leadership team and troops.